What's up, everybody? Today we're gonna unbox some Roblox toys. Um, as you can see here, we have Roblox Operation TNT. At the description, it says Operation TNT. Things are about to get a little explosive. Grab your dynamite and pickaxe, then set the stage for Roblox's most epic mining operation yet. This collectible playset includes featured characters, accessories, and more from popular games such as Cindering Sharpshooter Mines, Breeza's Miner's Haven, uh, Defaultio's Mining Tycoon, and Wijin's Mining Inc. What we have here is the Miner's Havener, the Mining Tycoon Default Box, the Sharpshooter Mines Pyro Miner, Alan the Truck Salesman. So let's open the box, okay? And then this is what we have so far. We can throw that box away. And so now all we have are these things, okay? So here we have some vehicles. Under here we have some of like the, you know, the collections. Under here we have little screws, which all we need to do is just pull on it. Let's take it out real quick. And perfect, we got the two screws out, we can throw that away. And now we have our, the, our these things. We got a bulldozer, and it says, um, here it says W and U Trucks. So this is like a car brand that says W and U Trucks. And here we have like a little cart, I think that's full of coal. So it's like what we can do, we have like a little hole here, and we have like a little cylinder here. So to attach it, so it's like a mini train. See, it's like a little, it's like a little mini train. Um, and here you can take it off. It's really, really cool. And here we also have like a little screw. It's like a giant thing you can, you know, dig underground with stuff and spin around. So that's super cool. Okay, you can see it spin. Um, uh, so we can put this aside real quick. Okay, so this is the collectors. Okay, so this is the collector's thing. So you can see there's a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, Roblox toys we could get from here. They're also very interesting. Um, since we have right now uh, our, these, um, the Operation TNT things, I think we should focus on this thing. Um, also here, we have all of our characters and accessories. The first one I want to open is the Minor Havener, because since it's the first one, okay, so let's get it out. Okay, here we go. So this is the Minor Havener. So you can see he has some blonde hair, blue sunglasses, and also a blue hat, blue mining hat. Plus, blue is my favorite color, so I really do like it. Yeah, so yeah, he, he looks pretty cool. It's like he's ready to mine, right? So we can put him here. You know what? I actually want to test out the if this thing can uh, put this person inside. So I'm going to take this out, okay? And I'm going to add this person inside. I'm going to add the person inside so he can, like, drive it around. Okay, so we can put his arms down, maybe. Since it's kind of making it not not letting it. Okay, yeah, perfect. So yeah, so it's, it's the Minor Havener. Cool. Okay, so you can see we can just add him here, and there you go. So I'm gonna take this off right now so we can put the minor havener down. Okay. I also noticed the hat is also very, very loose. Okay guys, so let's just put this thing back. You can take these things away. Um, now we have some other stuff. We have a sharpshooter mines. We have like a monster thing. So let's get him out. So let's just push him out. Ugh. Okay, so it's it's coming out really really well. So all I need to do is just pull on the legs and stuff, and yeah, that's it. So perfect. Okay, so we got him out. He's like a monster, so he really does have a helmet. The helmet has like two little tusks, and looks like he has some spiky teeth. Yeah, and looks like he has some dirty clothes and some he he's he's red. He has some pants and brown pants, and it looks like he mined a lot. No wonder why he got ripped things. We can uh, we can put him here right now. We can put him beside the miner's havener. 
the other things we have here are Alan, the truck salesman. So I actually noticed each and every one of them include mining. Like this one includes a little bit of mining because you know the ripped clothing, the miner havener because it has like a hat. So mostly the topic is mining. So that's a good thing. So we can, put, we can pull him out. Alan, the truck salesman, he looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is Alan, the truck salesman. He has a white miner hat and he mostly wears white, but he also has like a black beard, a little bit of an angry face. You can see he has like a white tuxedo, so he looks very, very clean. Like he doesn't look, do a lot of jobs or anything. Um, it, he, he looks like a seller. This is the Alan, the truck salesman, right? And since these are the trucks, this is the truck, right? So that means he sells these trucks, right? So I guess his brand here says WNU Trucks. So that means I guess he's on the brand of WNU Trucks. So I guess he's the owner of the, of, of the probably he's the owner of the WNU Trucks. We can put that back. He also has like a minor hat, like the minor havener. This one is like blue and has like a black strap. This one is like white. Doesn't have a black strap, and here is also fully white. So it's mostly he's colored white. Okay. Uh, also, we have here, we'll have our Mining Tycoon decal bot. Okay. Super interesting. So, okay, okay, okay. So this looks pretty cool. So this is the default bot. You can see on top, he has two antennas that look like bees. And he has like a green head that looks like a zombie. Like a very, very common face, like, like he's like a normal face or something. Um, here he has like a number, it's 01, means ju it's just number one. Um, at the back, you can see there's like some kind of holes. The feet looks like um, are red. So it's actually really, I really like it because the color really matches in, you know. Uh, you know, some green, some gray, and some orange. Uh, over, oh, we also have some other stuff here. Uh, we also have some um bombs and uh, dynamite which i think we should open next okay okay so we, we're gonna let's get all the bombs out okay so what two bombs we have here this looks like a dynamite it's like a dynamite and this one is like one of those bombs where you push the lever and boom it just explodes so we have like these two things we can um we can place this so i think this is like a controller so this is where it functions so for example if the minor havener just pushes the lever down this dynamite will actually explode so that's pretty cool no wonder why i didn't have a handle we can put that we can have all our props here uh we also have some other props we have we have some rock pieces so let's get that out a few rock pieces looks like it looks like um you know looks pretty normal you know this is what you get from mining you get some rocks you get some diamonds you get some other stuff so look we have like three little blocks of rock so it's like this so the so i think the robot can um lift the heavy stuff so it might can lift up the you know you can it, it can lift up the rocks you know because it's very really heavy uh, also i think there's like another way like a minor havener right where it's like they're like dynamite and you have some rocks over there so he just pushes the lever and then boom and they just explode and all the pieces just come over so that's actually really really cool so we have like a so we have some like few rock pieces that can be like for decoration like we can like stack them like very like this to be honest i don't want to stack them anything so I'll, I'll just do this way so it won't trip down okay so uh let's see what we also have here we have a red pickaxe, a blue pickaxe, a blue shovel, and a red shovel. So it's like a pattern. Um, red, blue, red, blue. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's open the red one first. Okay. Okay, let's first open the red one. So this is the red axe. They're very, really tiny, but when you put it on, uh, you know what, since... Um, the this this structure of mine's um org since he is red, I'll give him the the red pickaxe. Apparently, he really does love red, so I'll give him the red pickaxe. So now he can just go some mining. Really, really cool. Spin around. 
Okay, so this, he can like he can like mine rocks now. He can just go here and just like just quickly mine all of the rocks in there. So yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, so now we have our red axe. So we can make him stand up now. I'm just gonna leave him leave him over there. So have a free few blocks. We also have um, a blue pickaxe. It's like the red pickaxe except it's blue. You can see since the minor havener, right? Since the minor havener, he's blue. I'll give him the blue axe. So yeah, they all have a match. Really, really cool. Blue axe and red axe. So that's red versus blue. Perfect. Uh, look what we have here. We also have some shovels. So the shovels are like tiny, like giant little spoons. Then they kind of look like spoons, actually. I don't know why. They just look like them. We have two of them, two shovels. This is blue, this is red. So since he is red, like I said, he's gonna, he's gonna keep the, the red shovel. And um, I was maybe guessing, if the robot has a shovel, then it'll be like a shoveling robot. But if it had an ax, it might be like a mining robot. So that's really cool. So yeah, he can just hold up. He can just hold up one of those things and he can just start digging now. And, and then the ore can start working. So we can put him over, over here. And we also have some of the robots. So that's really, really cool. So we have a robot and an orc. But Alan the truck salesman hasn't got anything yet. But we're going to get him something. I'm going to do a little spin around of the robot holding the shovel. It's really, really cool. I really do like how they have like a little red and only blue. It's, since blue is my, really my favorite color. So we can put them over here now since they have some items uh we also have a lot of other items we have some props like um these blocking road things we can push them out so these things are like things when like people like need to like road paving and they, they need a spot and like people cannot drive there they'll just have these things to block it so for that for example they're mining right so we can we can set it up like this where they're where they're driving here and nobody can enter this cave because it's it's only for the mining properties so you can do it like that and then we have some of the org so this is the org we'll add it here we can make him sit and like make him sit over here um and then we also have a robot he can maybe start digging he can start to get to work and the minor havener can probably, just probably, he can just sit down, maybe have like a nice long rest, maybe have a lunch or anything, anything mostly. Um, we also have, um, we also have a lot of other stuff, you know. We actually also have a toolbox and a flashlight, okay. This is the toolbox. So this is where it can add all of our tools. So this is when they like, when they, when they've done their shift, they add all of their things here. For example, the shovels, I'll add the shovels inside. And then you can maybe add the axes inside. You can mostly add everything inside. So I'm gonna add everything. Uh, maybe I'll add some of the bombs. And yeah, this is how, so that this is when they're in the shift, this is where they put it. So they just put it over here. And for the, and yeah, so this is where they put it. They just put it in here. And then when people need it, when they go back to work, they'll, they'll use it. Um, we also have like a pusher. We can put it like all right over here. Um, so we have our robot, the miner's havener. We also have Ellen the truck salesman. And we have our org. So what's missing you ask? We still miss a flashlight, which we need, we need to have. Because you know, the cave is very, really dark and you know, the orc doesn't even have anything to light up. So I'm maybe guessing he needs a little flashlight to light up the way, you know. Uh, we can also we can also put it back in here. Because since this is our props toolbox, we can mostly add every, every single tool we have. And we can just store it inside of here. So that's all we have, okay. But we also, we just, we also actually have a code Okay, the code is an exclusive virtual item, which we're, we're gonna redeem later on with a ruler. Okay guys, so I have a story. So uh, the org and the robot went mining. 
So the robot will guard around so people will go into the cave because it's very, very dangerous. And this, in these days, um, the orc always had to use the dynamite because that was the old day way. So he usually pushes the lever and boom, it explodes and gets all the rocks. But they, they always think it's really hard work because they have to place it and still go around here and just to still push the lever. And it's also very dangerous because it'll explode and then it's at, and yeah, and it might the rocks might fall down on them. So one day, Alan the truck salesman asked, "Hey, uh, we have a truck. Do you need this truck?" And then the rope, and then and then he says, "Can you please open, open the line?" And then the robot says, "Okay," because they also they also feel very interested. So the robot pushed away the signs, and then it, and then he told his employee to drive it in. So then he drove it, and the employee just drove it in, and he said, this is the Driller 2000. And then, then the org and the robot felt very, really interested. So they asked how much, and then the owner says, it's about, it's about, it's about a lot of money. And then they say that, do you trade some rocks? And then he said, yes. And then they traded him some of the old stuff that they use and some of some of the rocks and they mined. And then he says, it's a deal. So he took all the rocks and the bombs and then they the truck drove in and then um, the employee demonstrated them how to use it. So so they added they added like a toll of blocks and then they used the bulldozer to quickly push it off and and then they felt really impressed and really really happy so they gave them all the rocks and then they um and they all collected and they and they got traded with the rocks and the bombs so then they walked away with with all these items they they got and then and then the org and the robot started mining again so they first, they blocked up the signs real quick, and then the org went, goes in into the bulldozer so he can try it out and do a little test drive. When he did a little test drive, he tried to, he tried to break some rocks, so then it actually worked very well because the bulldozer just pushed through and it was very, very powerful. So then they felt really, really happy about this item and that's my end of the story. Um, and anyways, now um, let's scratch the code. Okay guys, so now I have my code and I have my ruler. So I'm gonna scratch it off. Okay guys, um, I got my code. Now we're gonna go to roblox.com. I'm gonna go to roblox.com. I already have like one. Thanks for watching. I, I hope you enjoy ha having me and we will see you soon. Subscribe and like and bye.